Raven Elise TV. So this is what the wig looks like um, without doing much to it. All I did so far was change it to a side part or like a deeper side part because it came in closer to a middle part. So I just kind of adjusted the part to fit how I like it. After that, I went in with my concealer and my perfect little brush that I use for this step. It's just like the perfect brush for it. And I went in and I added some concealer on the part to make it blend with my natural scalp color. And so I have some of my own little baby hairs here and then the wig starts right there. And so this is what the wig is looking like right now. It's, I think it's a 12 inch wig, so it comes down like bra strap length. But for that authentic Kylie Jenner look, her hair is shorter. It's more of a bob length, maybe about to here. So I am going to cut the hair just because I think that'll be a more flattering length on me anyway, rather than just kind of like this in between length that's kind of random. So I am going to chop the ends off just very roughly because Kylie Jenner's hair is just like cheap. Like it looks like she just cut it herself. So that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just gonna take my brush and RPG Show Wigs always comes with a free handy dandy brush. So I'm just gonna use that and brush it through. This hair is very silky and smooth and tangle free. It has like a really awesome virgin hair type texture, um, texture you would expect from high quality virgin hair. And then they just obviously bleach the bottom of it. So the bottom does feel a little bit more dry than the top, but not that bad. RPG Show always has like really high quality hair. Like you can tell they use really high quality hair to make their wigs. So I was gonna just straighten the hair, but I decided that it would look much better if it had kind of a wave to it. So I'm just using my curling iron to curl random chunks of the hair away from my face like this. And this will give kind of that disheveled, wavy, boho look that Kylie wears her hair in most of the time. So I have kind of a bump in the back of my head. I feel like this top section right here should lay a little flatter. So to help fix that, I'm just gonna take some hairspray and spray it on that area, and then use my hot curling iron to flatten it down. So I'm just running that across and pressing it down really hard, so it'll flatten a little bit, just so it doesn't give you that weird wig bump that kind of makes it look wiggy. You wanna make sure it's like really flat to your head in all the right areas. And then you can just spray some hairspray through it, lift it up like this. And voila, that's pretty much the finished, messy, Kylie Jenner inspired hair. Uh, I think her hair is actually like shorter than this. Like it's probably another two or three inches shorter. I'll probably end up hacking away at it even more, but for now, I'm working with this link. So I went ahead and kylie up this look. I kept on zhuzhing the hair to get that really messy look. I added a choker type necklace, a white top, and I put on my Kylie inspired lip color, which is Coffee by Clean Color. And that was featured in my recent beauty haul video. I'll link it down below so you can see where this is from. But anyways, yeah, this is pretty much the completed Kylie Jenner hair look. I actually really like it and I love, love, love the quality of this wig. I see absolutely nothing wrong with this wig. No shedding, no tangling, no frizziness. It has a really nice texture. The combs and everything are great. It fits perfectly, it looks realistic. All you have to do is slap some concealer on it and you're good to go. This is really just an awesome quality wig. This is the type of wig that I feel like Beyonce probably wears. Like it's just awesome. RPG show really never 
disappoints me as long as I get the silky hair texture. I'm not a big fan of their yakky hair texture, but as long as I get silky hair from RPG Show, I've always really, really loved it and they hold up so well. So if you are interested in getting a lace wig that you wanna wear every day, that you just wanna get the most use out of and have like a really good experience with, I definitely recommend RPG Show because they never fail me. Alright, so I'm back in my bathroom. I'm about to do the second wig of this wig off, which is going to be a Nicki Minaj inspired wig from wowafrican.com. So as you can see, I just have my wig cap on now. And how I place it on is right behind my first braid, just to leave some of my hair out and a little bit of my own natural part out to make the wig look as natural as possible when I do put it on. And as you guys can see, I have all of my other wigs, well, some of my other wigs hanging behind me. This is just some of the ways that I store them. I will be making a full wig collection video very, very soon, so stay tuned for that. So the Wow African Company packages their wigs just like most other companies, comes in a box, comes with a free wig cap, a free comb or brush, it comes with um, your little paper telling you what you got and some instructions, and it comes with the wig all wrapped up in plastic and everything. And I've already unpackaged this wig and cut off the excess lace and even began styling it a little bit just to save time in this video. I tried on this wig shortly when I first got it and I did post a couple pictures on Instagram, but now you guys are going to get a much better look at it so I'm going to put it on and this wig has combs in it exactly like the RPG show Kylie Jenner wig does there's combs on either side right here and then there's also a comb at the top of the head but I never really use that one I kind of just let it chill out and then it also has an adjustable strap in the back just like the other wig does which you can tighten if your wig feels a little bit loose and it helps it stay down in the back since it's been in the box, it got kind of creased and a little bit deformed. It's kind of swaying this way. So I'm just going to take my straightener and make it bone straight again. And this, of course, is real human hair. They actually use Brazilian hair, which is really high quality hair, to make these wigs. So you can, of course, straighten it and do everything to it without any worry of damaging it. And I'm noticing that as I'm going over it with my straightener, it is kind of dulling the shine down a little bit, which is actually good because you don't want the hair to be too shiny. That's kind of what makes it look like a wig. So I'm glad that it's taking some of the shine out. So now that I've straightened it nice and bone straight, you see it straightens really, really good. And I personally think that this hairstyle looks best when it's just bone straight, not much bump to it or anything like that. That's how Nikki was wearing it. Okay, so I'm almost done styling this wig, but the last thing that I need to do is make the part area look as natural as possible. So a lot of times when you get a lace wig, the part itself is kind of skinny and thin, and your natural part is actually much wider. So you can see my natural part is about this wide, but the lace wig is like really thin and skinny, so it doesn't really line up and it doesn't really look natural. So I'm going to widen it, and a way you can do that is just taking some tweezers and tweezing out some of the hairs that are just right around the part to make that space even wider. That kind of takes a long time and it's kind of dangerous because it's easy to like rip a hole in the wig. I've done that before, so I don't really like to use tweezers as much. Um, what I can do though is just take a rat tail comb and just part off a section right there next to it um, and just part off some of those hairs that I want to take out. So it's like just that little section of hair right there next to it. And then I can just take my scissors and go down in there and kind of wiggle it and cut those hairs out. And just make sure you're cutting really close to the lace without actually cutting the lace, of course, because that would be bad. So now you have widened your part a little bit and to blend it even more, first you wanna make sure that it's lined up perfectly with your natural part, which I believe mine is. And then just take a tiny bit of scalp colored concealer, which is basically always the same color concealer that you probably use underneath your eyes. I use this little um, Crayola brush just because it's like the perfect shape to put it in the part. And just put some of that concealer right in the part. After I place it on there, I like to take a Q-tip and just kind of pat it and 
blend it a little bit so it's not so bright and so harsh. And you can kind of take out some of your baby hairs a little bit, style those up a little bit, like that. And there you have it. Looks natural enough, right? I mean, as natural as this blonde wig is gonna look on me. And voila! So this is pretty much the finished look for now with this wig. Of course, I could curl it. I could even dye it a funky color since it's like a platinum blonde. I could go over it with like another fun color. But for now, this is how I'm wearing it. This is kind of how it's meant to be worn anyway. It's a celebrity inspired wig. It's supposed to give you that Nicki Minaj look, which I think that Wow African really got on point when they made this wig. They really made it look exactly like Nicki Minaj's wig that she wore. Yeah. I'm really digging it. It's really high quality. The hair is very soft and extremely, extremely tangle free. Like I feel like this hair will never ever tangle ever in its life. And um, that's kind of how it was with my other Wild African wig that I had. It was very silky, very soft, absolutely no tangles, no matting, no shedding problems, just like extremely silky hair. And that's the same way that this hair feels as well. It does not feel dry and crispy, even though it is platinum blonde, it still feels like virgin hair. So the texture of this hair is absolutely amazing. Only thing that I do have to say about this wig and the previous wig that I had from Wild African is that their wigs are a little bit thin. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's not that much hair on this wig. Um, it's very light and airy and, you know, kind of thin, which can work for this specific style. But if you prefer to have a thicker, fuller head of hair, then Wild African may not be the one for you. Whereas RPG Show's wig also always have a lot of hair on them and they're always much thicker. definitely interested to see which one you guys think looks best on me and which one you guys just like best overall. I think I'm gonna have to personally give it to the Kylie Jenner wig. Although this one is very fun, the other one is a lot more wearable and um, it's thicker and I don't know, I just really like it overall. But I do also like this one, but I do think Kylie Jenner has won this round. Sorry, Nikki. But anyways, like I said, leave comments down below let me know which one you guys like the best. And all the links and everything that you need for both of these wigs will be down below in the description box definitely check down there there might be some coupon codes or some discounts so definitely check it out don't forget to follow me on instagram to see more pictures of me wearing these wigs in different ways at raven elise and other than that i will see you guys in my next video bye